This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all in one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stay tuned until the end of the video to learn more. In this Newsweek article, we learn about a sci fi author who has written 97 books using ChatGPT and has made nearly $2,000 doing it. I would like to make $2,000 doing almost nothing. Digging in a little deeper takes him six to eight hours per book, so let's say seven hours times 97 books. That's $2,000. That equals $2.94 an hour. This is the siren song of AI. My YouTube recommendations are chock full of videos on how to make money using AI, write a novel, sell art, create coloring books, pretend to kidnap someone. So if you came to this video hoping to make a lot of money using AI, I have some bad news for you. It's not a realistic goal. And you're doing it all backwards. Story time. Several years back, I got invited to speak at a conference about designing t-shirts. I gave a little design 101 presentation to a room full of entrepreneurs, small business folks. I had a blast. The event was focused on a new service at the time. It was called Merch by Amazon. It was a print on demand service. It's still around, but at the time it was just getting started. And at that time, it was only open to a small number of people, most of whom were already selling on Amazon. So many of the folks that I met there were really steeped in things like arbitrage, drop shipping, reselling, but not design. So when Amazon started offering this new service to them, they immediately recognized the opportunity. They could upload t-shirts and designs onto Amazon and they had no overhead. We're talking no inventory, there were no printing costs, and they could get those shirts in front of millions and millions of Amazon's customers at no cost. And the people that I met there were making bank. We're talking tens of thousands of dollars a month, mad, mad cash for very little work. And at the time of the event, Amazon was starting to roll out access to more and more of the public. They were really starting to open it up. So over the next few weeks and months, the bottom completely fell out of the market. Amazon's site was just inundated with people cranking out t-shirts. You could search for an air conditioner and you would get some dude's air conditioner t-shirt in the results. People game in the system left and right, some just completely disregarding copyright. Now, as the site grew, it seemed like the main way most people were making money was coasting off of someone else's brand without getting caught. T-shirts that looked like Crayola crayons without using the brand name. Sports t-shirts using team colors and the city name without mentioning the team or using their logo. Slightly misspelled names of popular characters in your description tags. And as these spam t-shirts flooded the site, Amazon started deprioritizing their print-on-demand content to keep their search results more relevant. And the amount of money people were making with print on demand on Amazon kept going down and down and down. The problem was with no barrier to entry, anyone and everyone could give it a shot. They could try to make money on the service and everyone who tried it made about, I don't know, $2.94 an hour. This doesn't mean that if you're using merch by Amazon, you won't make money. I, I met a guy there who hired real designers. Uh, they made his shirts and then he worked out some licensing deals with folks like NASA and Harley Davidson and they made real t-shirts to sell on Amazon and, and he was doing really well. Oh, but that costs money. Yeah, yeah, it does. But if you wanna run a business, you have to, you know, run a business. My biggest takeaway from this whole experience and one of the inflection points of my career was that I didn't want to coast on other people's brands. Instead, I needed to build my own brand. I'll never make the next Batman or Mickey Mouse, but I don't have to. I'm one guy. At the beginning of this video, when I said, you're doing it backwards, that's what I meant. A book without a brand is worthless. Who will buy it? Nowadays, anybody can use AI to turn out a bunch of books. Anyone can use AI to turn out a bunch of art. Anyone can do it, so everyone will do it. If someone or 50 people have made videos on how to use Midjourney to make money, that means that the market is already completely saturated and it's only gonna get worse. I don't know what the future holds, but I feel pretty confident in this prediction. The amount of content that is going to be made is going to absolutely skyrocket. And prediction two, it will all be junk. When I say build a brand, I'm not talking about just a logo or a poorly drawn avatar. Your brand is a culmination of every experience a person has ever had with you, your content, your work, your art, your products. I grew up with Nintendo. That brand holds so much power over me. It was positive experience after positive experience after positive experience. That's how you build a brand. The Mario movie didn't set records because it was a great movie. It set records because it fulfilled exactly what what people wanted and expected from the Nintendo brand. In fact, if you're not familiar with the games, 
That movie's an absolute mess. Why did the mushroom make him small? Why are they driving go-karts? Why is Jack Black so good at writing dumb songs? Mmm, I love it so much. Some people will tell you that it took three weeks for that movie to make a billion dollars. I'm here to tell you it took 40 years for that movie to make a billion dollars. Think about your career this way. What does 97 chat GPT written books say about your brand? What does a children's book with AI art you pumped out last night say about your brand? What experience are people having with that content? Do they want to consume more of it? Some brands like Nintendo entertain. They make one video game at a time, getting a little bit more ambitious and a little bit more fun with every one. My brand is built on helping people who are looking to buy a drawing tablet. I could pump out a lot more videos if I used AI to write my scripts. But my goal is not to spit out as much information as possible. It's to help people make a buying decision. My brand is built on me just trying out a lot of products and sharing my honest experience with them. I had to start with one review and then I wrote another and then another and another. It took time, it took years. I wasn't good at that at first, but video after video, I got a little better. I got a little better. I started building that brand. It was not a get rich quick experience at all. Artists who learn to draw, show their process on social media, they gain a following not just from their art, but sharing their experience. I know artists who make a good chunk of their living at conventions selling their art. People buy art because yes, it looks cool, but they're buying into that artist's story. They meet a person at the convention and they really dig what they're doing. You talk to any artist who works at those conventions and they will tell you, that's why people buy from them. They want to support that artist. That's often more important than the art itself. If you're just entering text into a prompt and printing something out, anyone could do that. Will people at the convention see you as an artist that they want to support, or will they see you as someone who's just trying to cash in? Will people at a bookstore see you as an author trying to entertain them, or someone just trying to cash in? What are they connecting with? What is your brand? AI, print on demand, the web, smartphones, the freaking printing press. The technology used to create our work will always be changing, but the underlying value, are you making something people actually want? Never will. I have some other videos on AI, specifically around art and copyright, if you want to know my thoughts on that. And this video would not be possible without the support of great companies like my sponsor today, Squarespace. Have you ever wanted to sell something online? Well, Squarespace is here to save the day. It's not only an all-in-one platform for building the ultimate website, it's your gateway to selling products, content you create, and even your time. With Squarespace, you can build an online store. Whether you're selling physical, digital, or service products, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling today. You can make checkout seamless for your customers with simple but powerful payment tools. You can accept credit cards, PayPal, Apple Pay, and offer your customers the options to buy now and pay later with Afterpay and Clearpay. And you can keep track of all your customers using Squarespace's analytics. Using these insights, you can grow your business, learn where your sites, visits, and sales are coming from, and analyze which channels are most effective. Improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords or most popular products and content. Head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. When you're ready to get started, go to squarespace.com slash Brad Colbo to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain.